Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are having a look at Built Hambra Microfine, which is described as an ultra-fine paint conditioner. But essentially it's a product that contains light abrasives for cleaning up your paintwork, deoxidizing it, uh, solvents in there to also degrease and clean the paintwork, and wax, I believe. Uh, we won't go through all the, all, all the blurb. Um, now, this, I'm doing this as part of um, an overall study, or best of, all-in-one abrasives. And you can see the gap there for Built Hamber in the middle. Right, so first thing, some notes on this product. Unlike most of the other products in this test, it's really loose and wet, whereas most of these are thicker emulsions, um, you know, like a like kind of moisturiser or hand cream or something, whereas this is almost like a, you know, you can, it's runny, you get the idea. So I think it doesn't contain any like glycerine or whatever things they put in these emulsions to make them thicker. So it's probably a solvent uh, abrasive and wax mixture of some, some description. Um, it's got a screw on lid, which is a bit of a disadvantage. Let's just say that because you can't operate it. <laughs> As I'm trying to with one hand. Come on, John, you've got the strength. There we go. Um, so most of these abrasives have pop-up lids that you can pop down. After you've squirted them onto the pad like there, you pop them down on the top of the pad. This has a screw-on lid and a hole. The hole's fine. I'll show you it in a second. Uh, but I always feel you want to put the lid back on when you've you put some out because... It's just oh, making a little bit of solvents coming out. I just don't know. I just feel you should. <laughs> so I like some of the lids on the other products better. Uh, it, and it does have the solvent honk, you know, because it's solvent based. So there's that hydrocarbon smell. Um, okay, now I'm also going off piece with this product because it sort of comes with an applicator and you can work it by hand. But I want to work it by machine. So the first thing you see is and it's quite hot today 21 and a half degrees it's kind of like a thin liquid so it doesn't although I can get away with it I can put it on the pad you see there's quite a lot of liquid um, and it's not absorbing into the pad so I can then pick up my you know pad take it to the car I've cleaned this surface down so it's ready to be polished and then I can just sort of dab out just like I would just like I would a uh, an abrasive over a, a two foot area but it, it's different to most other abrasives you know you get that sort of cream that you move around whereas this feels like I'm moving around you know more of a kind of thinner product so you get the idea on that now let's get you a camera angle so you can see what you're doing actually I really want to get in close um, where shall I go? I'll go over here. Okay, like the miss is banging around in the background, as always. Now I'll just do the, the normal thing and work it on speed one just to give me there's still some bits of the film that are a bit wet. Interesting. Now I'm just gonna crank up a little bit. Just push into it. So what about the braces? And then if we just have a look at the product. So the solvent honk is quite strong. And even after I tapped it out on speed one, I could see the product starting to dry a little bit. So when you leave it there, 
it dries. When you work it, you seem to keep it wetter for some reason, because you're probably just spreading, spreading it around. So now what you're supposed to do is let this product haze off. And that's probably, you know, you could go on to the next section if you wanted to. You could polish, or you could apply it to half your bonnet or your whole bonnet in one go. But I think just giving it a good, good sort of working, you know, enhances the effect, you know, of the, of the abrasives. That's why I like to use them on machine. By hand, you can, it's a different ball game, isn't it, really? So let's just get a clean microfiber cloth. We've got here's one I made earlier, which is already starting to haze out. A test piece of glass there, yeah, it's always stiffened up already. That's set, so probably the working it by machine has just given it a little bit of extra warmth, which helps to flash it out. There's the buff, so the buff is like a wax. It really feels, it reminds me massively. I'm just gonna, let's just stick with the buff for a second. So I'm having, it's not coming off ridiculously easy. It needs a bit of buffage. You can hear that, can't you? You could definitely give this longer. But it's coming off well. It's not smearing or anything like that. It's giving us a nice gloss. So that's good. Let's go again interesting to see what happens if we left this even longer would it become difficult to buff it's always good to know isn't it let's leave that a little bit longer that bit what this product reminds me of is the hydro wax so this is a liquid wax without the abrasives um let's just get put that there there a second and get this one we haven't talked about the price. I think this is £26.95p um, for 500 mil, which puts it as the third most expensive out of all of these products when I'm working on nearest price per litre. It's a little bit of a disadvantage in the conversion. And I just want to grab one more product. And that is the cleanser polish, so that we understand what Built Hamber have essentially got in terms of these liquid formulations. This is a polish abrasive with a acrylic primer resin, I think. So you can use that to polish your paintwork and prime it to then put on a wax. You could put on double speed wax or finny wax or whatever. You could put on hydro wax. You wouldn't go and then put microfine on top of the primer polish because the abrasives in microfine are gonna scrub through especially if you use it by machine, the um, acrylic primer that you put down, in my head at least. So you would either use a combo of primer and pure protection products or an AOI on its own. Generally, you use these AOIs on their own. So there's a little important thing. These newer bottles from Built Hamber are better than the old metal ones that had no way of controlling the liquid. So better. Right. This has been on here a bit longer. Let's flip to a clean side and do our little four-way fold. Pinch the open edges, the four open edges. Let's see how this buffs. Let's get an angle so you can see it there. There we go. You get the full effect <laughs> of the buffage. Here we go. Yeah, so you can see there, like it needs a second buff to get it all up or maybe even a third pass, so I'm going reasonably slow. I don't like to buff with pressure, I like to just buff gently. You see, if I didn't buff enough, you see that little kind of arc there, it just needs a bit more. So it's not a silky light buff, but then the, the trade-off is usually when something stiffens up and dries like that. Usually, oh, see, there's the, there's the thing you gotta be careful with. There's a little tiny bit of wax there, look. Get your buffing game in order John but the trade-off is usually if it's a bit stiffer to buff like that but you get a bit more durability so is it does this thing microfine also contain the hydrophobic polymers that hydro wax has and double speed has that give it very very good beading 
very good beading. In fact, probably about as beady as it gets. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, water and the cloth. I don't mind getting wet. It's hard to tell when you're spraying it on, atomizing it on, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's very beady. It's very beady. There you go, there's a race. It's the Formula One. <laughs> there is Lewis Hamilton. There's Max Verstappen. And they're off, Hamilton's off. Who's gonna make, oh no, Verstappen's coming through. Oh, he's, oh, oh it's all gone wrong. <laughs> what happened there? Yeah, it looks very hydrophobic to me, guys. Let's just try and bring this camera back. Nice, beefy, oh, it's on the move again. Nice beefy contact angles on those beads. Really nice. So it could be, I'm gonna give you my open thoughts about this. I sometimes say with products, they're a fish out of water or they're at a disadvantage. I think microfine might be a slight fish out of water in this competition. Why? Because I really think it's more of like a cleaner wax where you just, you could use it by hand and it's all nice and thin and it will clean up your paint and put down a layer of wax and the fine abrasives will scrub it. But I don't think it's as much as a paint correction tool from what I'm seeing as some of these other products, you know, that are like diminishing abrasive cut and finish and will get rid of 2000 sandy marks and all this, you know, from abrasive companies. So I think it's a slight fish out of water and it's not the only fish out of water in here um is it does that mean it's a bad product if it's a fish out of water of course not no um built hamber don't do bad products do they it's what it is is a solvent wax uh you know that's going to stiffen on you and leave a thick layer of wax that's going to bead like crazy and be reasonably durable that might be its saving grace that, that when we start looking at the protection of these products, Built Hamber might be one of few that actually demonstrates any really worthwhile protective qualities. But is that enough? Is it going to be able to sort of keep up in the abrasive area? That's the question. That's the question. And the price, the price. Some of these products are as cheap we're getting down to less than £24 per litre, uh, £25 per litre. You know, this is the Auto Finesse, which is about £12 a bottle. There's the built hamburgers. You just get an idea of the scaling. These prices are all relative to each other because they're, they're scaled to size. Where's built hamber? Where is it? There. So, yeah, it's over twice the cost of some of the other ones as well. And price does play a factor in a lot of my... Um, things so that's there's my thoughts guys that's what you do you brain dump when you do these um, I still have no idea what the best AOI in this lineup is I still have no idea but I'm already learning a thing or two about them and I've tested done some little tests against half of them or five of them and then I know out of those five which two are much better performing abrasives. And I've got to do the same test on the other five. Um, and then I'm gonna learn which are the best performing abrasives in those other five. And then pit, pit the winners almost like in a heated thing to try and learn which ones are the best performing abrasive. The protection test will take care of with standard things. We can look at slickness. We'll look at gloss as well with the gloss meter and all that. We'll do it all like we always do. And I'm going to be really interested. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If, you, if you're thinking of buying an AOI that's going to offer, that's wax based, that's going to be usable by hand, that's coming from a great UK based company, it's a unique product that they formulate, you know, so that's cool. Um, then check out the Microfine, okay? And if you want to see which one wins my results, you're going to have to wait a few more weeks for me to finish off all this testing. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon on the Forensic Detailing channel. Bye for now. Let me know your thoughts.
plus. Where was I when 